mentioned, my name is Amar Hamid. I'm a midwife and I'm speaking to you today as a healthcare worker that is devastated by the genocide and the targeting of hospitals in Gaza. I am here because I know that as healthcare workers, we choose the work we do because we want to protect and help people. This value means we cannot stand idly and watch the dehumanization, the apartheid, the ethnic cleansing and the genocide of Palestinians. We cannot stand idly and watch the targeting and murder of our fellow midwives, nurses, doctors, psychologists, health managers, physios, psychologists at the hospitals in Gaza. As a midwife, all I can think about is the pregnant women in Gaza and how they are feeling. There are currently 50,000 pregnant women in Gaza, 5,500 due to give birth next month. As a midwife in Australia, I witnessed the miracle of birth, but I also witnessed the anxiety and the fear that comes with it. And I just cannot imagine how the people and the women in Gaza feel. We know that women are disproportionately affected by the impacts of war. And for mothers and pregnant women, this impact can mean giving birth early, giving birth to sick babies, giving birth and not being able to breastfeed your baby and so much more. This is a, from a public health point of view, this has long-term implications of trauma. And every child in Gaza right now and for generations to come. Usually when I put on this uniform, it is with the intention of supporting and for caring for women in labor. But today I put on this uniform and stand in solidarity with the mothers and expecting parents in Palestine. I read once that the mothers in Gaza carry their children twice, once in their wombs and once to their graves. Shame. So my uniform today, and that of all healthcare professionals with us today, is to stand in solidarity with the healthcare workers in Gaza and Palestine. Yeah. We have all heard and seen the bombings of Al Ahli Baptist Hospital in Gaza. Our government is complicit. Yeah. That hospital was warned every day since October 7th that it was going to be bombed. It was asked to evacuate. A hospital was asked to evacuate. Patients with cancer, patients with dialysis, newborns that require resuscitation they wanted them to evacuate and when they didn't when the doctors refused to move and refused to leave their patients they bombed the hospital yeah. make no mistake they targeted and sent two missiles and bombed a hospital that is a war crime we now have a block blackout in gaza an attempt by israel to silence palestinians and to cover their war crimes. And just before the blackout, Israel was justifying the target of another hospital, Al Shifa Hospital. This is a war crime. This week, the Palestinian Medical Relief Society also sent a distress call to the international community, to us. The Palestine Red Crescent just received a threat that they will bombard Al Quds Hospital, the third hospital. Israel is planning to bomb another hospital, one that accommodates more than 400 place, patients and 12,000 refugees. Yeah. Civilians, refugees, medical staff, staff like us. Yeah. We need to be loud today, here and now, and every day to make sure that this war crime is not repeated, to make sure that hospitals and patients are not targeted. Israel and the world want us to become desensitized to the fact that they target Palestinians every day. From when they are in their mother's womb to when they are born and until they die. But we are not desensitized, we will not be complicit and we will not be silent and we will not be silenced. So what can we do? There is so much. We don't have time to feel helpless. We all have unique access to fight for Palestinians. We need to mobilize our unions and peak bodies. And if you're a healthcare worker or any worker in any industry that has a union, they are powerful. So they have to listen to you. So write to them, email them, call them, move motions, mobilize your membership to endorse the movement and Palestine. Move motions for the union to support BDS and organize union contingents to these rallies. 
The voices of Zionists are loud in Australia and best believe they have already engaged with their unions and their industries, but our voices can and will be louder. Our voices can and will be louder because despite the propaganda, despite the news machine, despite the endorsements of Palestinians, we the people, we the workers are standing on the right side of history, are standing on the right side of human rights. So make your voices proud, loud, here, but also in the inboxes, your unions and your peak bodies. Together, our voices are stronger, our solidarity is stronger. Let this radicalise you instead of lead you to despair. Let's not go back, let's build something better.